I will show our ideologian. Oh, what the fuck? No mod should have changed. I don't think they did, at least. I will, uh, I'll show the ideologian and stuff when we get in. Oh, I see. Regrowth War got an update. Okay, no, that's fine. Load anyway. Hopefully that shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. I <laughs> can't believe I didn't even notice. Middle Earth, man. It's of course because we have Lord of the Rim installed. So of course it makes the background planet Middle Earth. Yes, yeah, so again, I'll do I'll do a brief overview of our people scenario ideologian. Long story short, though, we're we're dwarves. We're we're D and D fantasy dwarves. That's the main thing to to note. Specifically, dwarves from my world, from Aoria. We're all dwarves except for one. This is a. Wild woman we picked up. Ideologen. Which of these buttons is it? This. We're the path of the shield for the Dwarov. Collectivist, tunneler, craft culture. Which means that our crafting is better, but slower. And people like to craft. And party life. People like to drink alcohol. We have a whole thing with recreation as well. They love recreation. They need it. Running games aren't optional. They gain recreation at half the speed, but increases the mood buff for a party. Or, uh, no, hold on. They gain at half speed, yeah. So, they take their time. Dwarves, they're dwarves. They like to craft, they like to party, they like to live in mountains. We venerate black bears, giant boars, and furry cats. I have a spend ide a vanilla ideology expanded memes and structures, which is where these two come from. Yeah, we of course have our people. We have Odkum, Geomancer, construction, mining, etc. Tomli, who's our cook, animal herder. Nazwin, who's a swordsman and a paladin, and kind of good at a lot of stuff. Lomber, mountain lover, farmer. Miss Mill, who is only good thing. Well, now we've started to train her at construction. Really, she's just here to kill things. She's a weapon master, physically adept. We picked up Wilder, who's a veterinarian, also good at crafting. And Colin, who was a trader. They joined, they betrayed us, and we decided to beat them over the head and recruit them forcefully. And now we have them. They're good at mining, construction, social. They're also a kleptomaniac, which is a little concerning. And we're here in the mountains. I think we're in temperate forest. Yes, oh look, Malorn Forest is right here, isn't it? We could go there, settle, and cut some trees and bring back if we want elf wood. Which I wouldn't be against. These dwarves as they're based off my world's dwarves, have nothing against elves. In fact, they're rel they're rather friendly with elves. Barak Doom and Gamalul is our allies. We have allies with the dwarven hill clans. I like to think that there was, um, based on the scenario, a dwarven hold somewhere down here that fell. We fled north and settled here, and we want to reclaim the greatness of the hold and make our own. Make our own grand hole. These guys are just hill dwarves, though. They they've always lived here, probably. The fleshmongers, who's it? Uh, a settlement's called Excitement is in a Malorn forest. Oops. Yeah, we're smack dab in the middle of the map, though. Is it still? It is. Look, Goblin Island. The goblins inhabit Hedgehog Island. I love it. 
It's still my favorite thing about this world. Also, this round hedgehog island, which is uninhabited by sentient races. Arid shrubland and desert. Yes, you have claimed round hedgehog island. You have the whole island to yourself. Well, yeah, we have this entranceway. We started to dig into the mountain, and, re and then it revealed all this. And this is all not mountain, which is annoying. So we've decided to quadrant it off, and we're going to make it mountain. We're going to build roof over all of this and make a massive indoor underground area. Right now, we're triple-thicking dwarven granite walls. And that was really what we're doing. Building walls and starting to do this. We're going to fill these in with stone here and there. We have the loose plan for our great hall. With little offshoot wings. I guess like armory and a hospital maybe. Hospital should probably be in the main one. Oh yes, dragons. We have two dragons. We have a rumble horn. That's our dragon. And we have around here somewhere... Another one. An adolescent rumble horn. There it is. They're ours. They are from the Race to the Rim mod, which is, um... Uh... How to tame your dragon. Apparently these ones are very big and they like to charge and destroy walls and doors. Their special ability is they can tear down doors in two or three hits. So if they start to rampage... They destroy everything. They also have breath weapons, which I'm going to toggle the automatic use of right now, because I don't want them lighting things on fire. Oh, we also have quaggas. Endangered animals came in, and we tamed them and made them our friends. We're going to start breeding them and repopulating the quagga population, because of course they're actually extinct, technically, in real world. Get to live out our dream of fighting extinction yes i believe i think we bought them we had a, a a arcane item trader come in and sell us some dragons so we some dragons They're pretty cool. I like them. We're training them, I think. Eventually. You want a dragon. How so? Like, you want to own one, or you want to be one? I wouldn't recommend being one. Unless, actually, well, you could. They might die. There's that, that ever-present... ...threat, but... Funky Ringworld music. Doesn't quite fit, though, does it? Let's find something a little more... We have a lot of more fitting music, I think. They're just living their best life. Really, I'm waiting to... Uh, everything's on fire. Be careful, donkeys. Research finished. Agriculture, one. Lentils, beans, good. We, oh yeah, we did. We wanted that to... We can actually make salted lentils. Or jerked. I mean, it's it's jerky, but it's... I mean, it's meat. It's not, but it is. We want to start growing them anyway. Zone growing, so. Lentil, red lentil. It is a meat replacement. Oh, actually, that's why we did, because the dragons can eat it, can't they? Technically speaking. 
as it is counted in the game as meat. Yes, it is. It's counted as meat. Yeah. We're gonna have this this kind of it's well it's it, it's not that small. It's just a little great hall. I could make it a little wider, a little bigger. Mm, maybe, maybe. Like so, two, three, four, five. Oops, nope, removed. That's what I want to do. Get a little bit longer out this way. We might eventually make it wider, but I also kind of like the idea of having. Uh, might have fucked all that up though, huh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. There. Like little offshoot wings for people. Look at them all just in one bedroom. They're sharing with two dragons. Not the most comfortable, is it? Just playing some dice games in the dark while everyone sleeps. lost some apples that's fine yeah early game is still pretty slow to be honest that's it's we're just trying to establish ourselves first it's very slow to begin with though I might as well haul those in hail how Oh, well, I guess it is cold enough. Oh, it is cold enough. Uh-oh. Oof. We don't have long. Before. Oh, uh-oh. Piglet, get inside. Get inside. Hmm. Didn't realize it's getting that cold. First winter is going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? They're getting just... Uh, poor things. First do that. I'll make it so they can get just inside the wall if they have to get inside. But I don't know if they will. I don't think they're smart enough. No, they are. Okay. To get inside. Oh, yeah. If y'all want a... Um, the two of you want a dragon... Or a animal, or something named after you. Always an option. Just remember that they might not survive. So, be a little awkward. Yuta. It's because they have two. We're probably going to end up getting more at some point. Is we can we're going to start breeding dragons. Oh, 
war dragon structure. Dwarven farming, more fortress stuff. Can't make those yet, although mm, should be. Remember that. Do that. I wanted limestone, ornate stone, medieval ruins, smooth stone, classic. Not this. So just fix something. There. Yes, limestone ornate wall. Probably. That's the entrance into the quarry room. Except you should probably mine those two so they can get through. And they can still cut through this. All that being said, we can replace that at least. Start building the walls we need. Although I will actually... Structure? Structure. Smooth. What type of wall is this? Limestone. Actually, I don't know about those yet. I don't exactly know yet. We're just getting the hallway down. This is not right. Okay, okay. I see where this went wrong. <laughs> Do they? Dragon eggs explode. Specifically in Race to the Rim. I don't actually know anything about the mod or how to train your dragon, so... Do they really? Hmm. That's, uh, good advice, then, if that's true. We need to make a hatchery. Okay, that, that's now symmetrical. That's good. Yeah, well, of course she's not going to be able to go outside. She doesn't have any... She doesn't have a shirt. Yeah. I need to fix the research screen with this mod. There we are. Dwarven... There. We can make it. A parallel of the Elua... Alua oh no, I don't know how to I've never known how to say that. Tunic. Tumor actually she's a human. Normal tunic. She probably can't wear a dwarven tunic. In fact, do we have anything? We should probably start making parkas. How expect it to get. I mean, it, the average, at least. Average is down to 35. We're already below that, so... We'll hold off on the parkas for now. Let's at least make her a shirt so she doesn't... She's literally just wearing pants, and that's it. Nothing else. We don't really have the textile industry to... Yeah, to do anything. Oh, is this outdoors now? Yeah, it is. Work on this wall for me to make sure that this stays indoors. And that. Hmm. 
I wonder where we would build a, a hatchery. That'd be, that's kind of cool. No, stay back. Gorda has given birth. We have another pig. Look at all the pigs. We're definitely going to have to slaughter some for the winter. That's why I'm keeping them there, because I want to keep a storage of meat. Because if nothing else, we can get by on meat. Pretty much, yeah, bacon. It's mine back here, so it's good to go, pretty much. Three, two, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Didn't mess that one up. Good. Yeah, there is a lot of work to be done. It's going to take a while. Plus, hopefully we can just get through our first winter without an issue. I'm a little worried about that. A little worried about the winter. Oh, is it? Gift of the Night Fury short film. I've only ever seen the first movie, I'll be honest. It was good. I do like it, but I never had an interest beyond that. It's good to know, though. Thank you very much. We'll have to remember that. If nothing else, well, we can temporarily make a little hatchery out here. Um, that's cool. I like that idea. A large, ornate chamber for the hatching of eggs. That also happens to be blast-proof. You can also put... Um, if we have any prisoners eventually, or... We're not going to do slaves, but prisoners that are particularly troublesome, we can just put them in the egg chamber. If they survive, they survive. If they get blown up, well, sucks to suck. Yeah, we're gonna just keep start building roofs so whenever they build some they can make roofs because obviously this is all going to be roofed in eventually although i guess we could keep like a little exterior area here i might actually i might keep this it's like a super secret area okay hold on that'd be kind of fun one two three four five six seven Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is one of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six. It's going to look strange. At least somewhat strange, but. Is what it is. Yeah. Because of course, if this is going to, this is going to be mid hall. Kind of like that, just like a little outdoor area for something. I don't know what, but make something out of it. Zone. Have them say, keep the roof off. And they can mess with the roof there, whatever. Yeah, something like that. I don't know what this will be. 
we can make something out of that, like a little... I mean, it could be... Huh, okay. We just collapsed. That's fine. That's gonna happen for a while. Just lead. Lead is very important. So we do have um, a party tree, which is from the hobbits. So if you have a long hallway up here, and it splits off into like you know bedrooms and like a bathroom, this could be a uh, great hall where people gather to drink and eat and relax and connect it through a door here, or two doors, like there and there, which may be a little bit more in. To this little area here, where there's a party tree and, you know, fountains and stuff. A nice little exterior area. I can see that. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Please work on this wall, though, before it becomes outdoors. It's already outdoors. Okay, so let's fix that. Don't want our stockpile to decompose. Uh, work on that one. ideas. I like that. A little exterior area. It even has a little bit of rich soil, even though we're probably going to end up making... Uh, like, a, an exterior kind of walkway. At least one thick of tiles around it, but... Yeah. Yeah, it cannot grow bad temperature, so everything that is planted will hopefully grow. Shouldn't die off. It starts to die off. We'll harvest early. And we might have to... Um, we're definitely going to have to kill some pigs. Definitely, definitely. Also hunt. Maybe we should hunt a couple things first before... Hunt a rhino. Hmm. Now hunt a couple muffalo. A couple donkey. And a turkey. Okay, there's a bit more. We're not going to mine that yet. We will at some point eventually. Mm. So, one, two. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, Making it like that, making it strange. But I, I, let me do that one corner because I don't like the hard edges. But this, I believe, mirrors this. Kind of. and this will mirror that. It'll all be even in the long run. And it hopefully, will not be terrible. Don't know if they can remove this roof or not, but they've. We'll remove whatever they need to. There'll be some overhang from rock roofs. That's fine. Enough that maybe... We have, like, that. I need to rethink where the doors are going to be, though. Ish. Does kind of fuck up the what we were doing there, though. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten. You know, we're just not going to make a door up there yet, and we'll see how the other room looks. It'll be fine. There's an odd sense of symmetry in the lack of symmetry. So it works in the end. Look at all this lead, though. That would be very helpful. I think you need that to make basins for washing your hands, so... At the very least, that'll be useful for that. This is our little makeshift defensive wall. Some palisade and barricades. Not as impressive as this, but this is also not meant to be... Not meant to be attacked, even though they probably will. But there's a path technically for them to go around. So as long as they don't have sappers or they're not pillagers, they'll go the long way around. To eventually a killing field, hopefully. It's a long way off though. For now, we're just a bunch of bunch of dwarves trying to make a home. Slowly. Where is, what do we have for, okay, okay, okay. I hope that, I might have to get rid of the RPG inventory mod if it doesn't let them wear, for instance, socks. Tailored socks. Which are very nice because it keeps their feet warm. Don't use scales for those, please. You can also get gloves. Tailored gloves. Yeah, one per colonist. Details. Nope. Scales. Don't use scales. Or, I don't think Hyper Weave, no Mana Weave. Yeah. Make boots as well. Make them out of leather. Except for, again, scales. That's, it's Stuff is too valuable. Ooh, ooh, what the hell did I do there? Oh no, I, I want one per colonist, please. Let's get gloves first, then socks, I guess, then boots. I feel like we should only have socks made of wool or cloth, because that kind of makes sense. A leather sock doesn't really work. If we have to make cloaks, but we might not need them. I hope they can wear them. If not, I might have to get rid of the RPG inventory mod, because it might be, it might fuck with it. I hope it won't, but it might. Raspberries. What are you mining? Oh, there. Yeah, okay, we're getting somewhere. Sort of. Dwarven goods production. Which, uh, yeah, allows processing the plants, correct? Scroll up. Uh, maybe scroll back down. Yes. Stuff like pigtail cloth, dwarven beer wart, quarry bushes, etc., etc. Because we have the Dwarf Fortress mods. Because also Dwarf Fortress is a very good game. And the inspiration for a lot of RimWorld. Similar games. It's partial inspiration.
still working on the walls. Hopefully the walls being this thick will really just prevent anyone from trying to bust through them. Because look at these things. It's just ridiculous. I also have triple layered doors, so it's just a pain in the ass to get through for anyone. And we do have a road leading off the edge of the map, which I did do myself with uh, the thing, because you can't actually build that far. But I wanted a short road off to wherever, so we have a road to the edge of the map. It just looks cool. Traders are allowed in this door, but no one else. Well, traders and visitors. Oh, yeah, we need to make visitor rooms at some point. I really forgot we had the hospitality mod. We we can worry about that later. Now. Okay, gloves. Good. Good. So gloves are on hands, which they can wear regardless. You are actually wearing them. You are not. You are not. Also, I should remember... Count equipped. Thank you. Count equipped and... Also, yeah, count went away. Count equipped, count went away. Also, count everything of... 52 or higher. 52 or higher... 52 or higher. We have the outfit of anything, which... Oh, it is anything. I haven't actually done anything with that yet. Yeah. Do that. What if your gear is forced? Your hat is forced, because you need it, but you get... You take it off, but you get sad when you don't have it on. So we have one extra pair of gloves, but that's fine. And it looks like they do actually... I'll have him wear. Because these gloves are nice. They're custom tailored to fit your hands, prevent many common workplace injuries that can occur. They have plus 5% global work speed. Just ready legit. Socks are a nice pair of custom tailored socks, which give a plus 2% uh, move speed, which is also pretty good. And it looks like they can, in fact, wear them, yes. So when there's something... I was worried when it wasn't listed, the extra slots, but it actually turns out it just adds slots for new things. The Skaven... We have, we have Warhammer race mods, a couple of them. We have a train caravan from the Skaven. Rat ogres and wolf rats. I know what they are, they're still terrifying. Look at these fucking things. Look at that. Look at these. Why are they so muscular? We could buy them. They're technically hunting animals. Ooh. Maybe at some point. Maybe we'll make friends with Skaven, have some some rats with us. Or go the opposite and make friends with the cats and get some tabaxi. Rats or cats, who do you choose? The Eagle Clan has adopted the Arctic God Emperor. Mm, Arctic God Emperor. Female supremacy, fishing culture, and God Emperor. Empress in this case. Okay. Interesting. It's the ideology of... Ideo, ideology of Viking clan. Way up here in the north. Especially up there. The fact that the elves are up there is still strange. Thrombo Hunt. I'd love to do these at some point. These various quests... But we don't really have the forces, I think, to leave our home. 
and somebody's like thrombo hunt we're not gonna do that i don't think we can take on a thrombo uh we're keeping this but then we can take out a you know just so we save some of our feed i will kill a, a few Three piggies. We have plenty of blocks. I think it's just that we have a lot of stuff to build, especially down here. They're really, really going for it. Hello, rat boys. We're still waiting on the rest of the caravan. Oh, no, they're here. Never mind. Who is social? Social of 12.5. Yeah, you'll do. Go trade with the Skaven Boulder Goods. Mutated Shock Troopers. Hell yeah. I mean, they, they look it. They look like they'd be very good as Shock Troops. We can actually buy Skavens. Are any of them any good? If we do, we will maybe get one. You're not great. We can release slaves, I think, right? Fun-loving groundbreaker. Mm. Magically gifted. Talent of Cupcat. They're also a psychopath. They're insatiable. And they're a dunce. Hmm. You're interesting, though. Shooting, construction, medical, intellectual. You're a... a Scryer Lowborn, one of the burrows of Clan Scryer of the Lowest Kind, worked the medial tasks of the Warp Forge, acted as a test dummy for the inventions, and was a former scribe. Magically gifted is really what I'm interested in. Copycat. Uh, so the learning factors offset a bit. Dunce. I think we she's a psychopath insatiable no amount of loving's enough for her we can release slaves to be colonists right hmm big boy oh we have more magically gifted Because we're, we're friends with all of them. Plus, it's, I believe, plus, you know, Skavens would like being in a dwarven hold, I think. Or at least underground, you know, at the very least. I'm going to buy components because they're useful for things, actually. We've taken off the tunic, which implies that someone is not wearing the right... Uh, apparel. I'm actually going to sell a couple of these scales because they're pretty, pretty good. I would love to buy. Oh, we have. Oh, yeah, we have chem fuel, don't we? From our boom bat. I think we have. Oh no, we have a boom lope. Which is also useful as. So at least for a lot of things actually. Yeah. Actually, considering how long it takes to convert, would it actually just be easier to buy, like, an ogre? A wolf. A wolf rat. Rat wolves. Wolf rat. Hmm. No, I'll I'll just get a person. I'll get Srogzolt. Oh, that's a that's a name. I'm gonna rename her to Ember Stalker because it's a last name. And it sounds cooler. It's easier to say. It's a teenage trade rat slave. Yes. How do 
Oh, wait. Uh... Maybe not. Em emancipate. And then we can capture... I've never actually done anything with slaves in this game. I also feel like people are not going to be happy that, we, yeah, we have slaves and alien slaves at that. Alright, also, who has the shirt? You. Put the dwarven tunic back on. We're going to need to make different... Where the hell is it? Where? There it is. Nope. Take the shirt off. God damn it. There. The shirt was for her because she can't wear dwarven clothes. Hmm. Or is that a waste of money? Can we... Because if we do that and we capture her... Then, wouldn't that make them angry because we've essentially captured one of their people? Oh, he's an animal leg. That's cool. Hmm. If that's the case, then maybe we should just sell her back. Oh no, okay, never mind. We can imprison. Once in prison, they can be recruited or enslaved once again. Okay. That's what we'll do. Uh, imprison. Yes. Prisoner, uh, convert. There we go. It worked out in the end. It just took a little bit of a a longer process, but we got there in the end. People wearing socks? A lot of people are. A couple aren't, but we might not have made them all. No, we have. People just need to put them on. We have a quagga baby. Tell me Wear the socks. Miramal, you... Okay, so everyone else has them. Now we're going to start making boots. Can get a Skaven friend. She's also pretty good as well. A wild goose is self-tamed. You will feed us. We don't really need a goose. Mm, actually. Doesn't the... Isn't the egg progress stopped? Because there's no males around? Because that's how it worked with the... Dragons. Okay, never mind. You know, we'll keep the goose around. Eggs. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, wrangle the goose. Masterwork tailored boots. Okay. I don't know if that did much. But those are some very well made leather boots. Very good, I guess. Just keep more simple meals on hand. And you... 
You know what? You get to work on the meat. Just make up some batches of meat. New lovers? What? Excuse you? All in rude mismal about joking about loving. Okay. Awfully brave, Colin. Walking up to the warrior woman and just essentially saying it wanna 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 bang? And she just took pity on him and said yes. Okay. Brave man. It works, but brave man. That's gonna be a little awkward, but you're you're going to sleep in the same room as everybody else though. Colony's very open by necessity. Because we don't have rooms. It is a barracks. Look, work on the damn bed. It's your bed. Work on it. What? Oh, fucking hell. What? What now? I know I didn't do that. Uh... Physical of spouse only. Ah, okay. No shared bed outside marriage. Okay. Sure, they are not going to sleep together until they're married, I guess. Good for them. Didn't even really note that that was a thing in the ideology. I don't know if it fits or not, but... We need just around the campfire. Just, just a little bit. Make his job a little easier. Alright, we got a baby quag. Can we release the baby? Or do we have to wait until it's a grown? Yes. Quagafole. Goodbye. Little baby. Releasing them into the wild. Well, we probably should wait until they're grown up. Realistically, because it wouldn't have much chance otherwise, but the game the game accepts it. Relationship with the Troba people have changed. Who are Troba? Nope. This one. This is the right one. Troba, Troba, Troba. Are they these are drow? Or is their leader a drow? Huh. Oh yeah, they they follow an ideology all about uh sweets. So they worship sweets and fire. Interesting. It's very dark. We don't have a lot of lights, do we? That's what the components are for, eventually. Uh-oh. Raid? No, a quest. A harrowing construction. The, sh the chief of the coastal havens of elves requesting the Buddha monument to commemorate the cooking skill of her aunt. 6 by 14 in size. Requires any of metallic wood, stony, or concrete. Any blocks. Must be completed. Protected for 37 days. If any is destroyed, just start. I mean, it says machine. Realistically, they'll probably use magic to just start spewing magic every, uh, toxins everywhere and send us some short hair cats to kill us. We can get potions that increase artistic skill. A Gronkle Iron Longsword. Legendary. It's, fuck, it's actually pretty good. Compared to say just a normal Oh yeah, definitely that's a that's a good weapon. Okay, hold on. Seventy one percent 
uh, melee armor penetration at 20.51 melee damage per second. Huh. Yeah, we're going to roll we'll, we'll except for nothing we can do about the pods. Fortunately, that we really can't get rid of that. What do we want to build it that we're not going to get rid of it for 30 something days? You can nestle it right in here. Yeah. Where did it go? There it is. So then... Uh, who's the best miner? I should say, who's the best miner and also awake? Nobody. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to have him start mining stuff. Oh, this is iron ore. Whoa. Don't know what happened there. Should also mine the rest of that at some point, but right now we're going to go build a monument. That's foggy. Doors are facing this way. Yeah, we have to wait until they haul all this. There's lead back here, too. Maybe actually this spot's not the best for it. I mean, we might just end up tearing it down. I, I kind of like to keep them around, though. They're kind of cool. I like to keep them around and maybe expand them. Yeah, you know what? can build it right in the middle. Maybe we'll tear it down. Maybe we'll turn it into something nice. There you go. Maybe we'll turn it into something nice one day. Or we'll just get rid of it. Well, we could ask, we could copy the design and then move it somewhere else if we want. So I do kind of... Mm -hmm. Tomley courted Naswin by mentioning his own hands. Again, very brave. Colin got it by walking up to the warrior woman and saying he wants to, you know. Now, Tomley's showing off his skills with his hands. But hey, it worked, so good on him. Good on him. Does everyone have shoe sock glove? Yes. Yes, they do. Uh oh. Mad boomalop. Mad boomalop or boomalops. Just the one. Okay. This is fine. Where is... Who's someone who's actually pretty good at shooting? Shooting of 9, shooting of 12, where are you at? You have time. Keep converting, and then... Nope, not that one, not that one. Her too, but we'll have her, have her bow. Fire. You too. You know, it only took one shot. One shot to the liver to kill it. Didn't think it was going to explode that quickly. Uh, but, you know, actually fight the fire, though. Should be fine, right? 
Mm. Yeah, this is fine. <clears throat> Dwarven Mead Brewing. Monuments Missing Blueprints. What? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Need sandstone? Oh, no, we can make it out of something else. Actually, no, we have sandstone, don't we? Yeah, we're not we have sandstone. Sandstone, the walls can be made out of granite. Columns out of limestone. And the sarcophagi out of limestone as well. And the door can be made of... Yes. Place. 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 There we go. Hello, hello. Howdy. Afternoon. We're doing some... Fantasy Medieval Rimworld. Welcome. It's going... Alright, so far. It's still early days, so... One day this will all be... Yes, it is, it is. I did, I did change the thing, right? Yes. Their billions is the first half. We're on to the Rimworld half of the Friday stream now. Because we should do a dub uh, double stream. Because four, four and a half hours of billions fries my brain a bit. Why is this bed unowned? Why Ms. Mill no have... Oh, because she had the double bed, but then we... Ms. Mill, please use your bed. Go to sleep. Hmm. Very nice. Oh, shit. This is something we do have to be careful of. Even though I thought I turned the thing down. Well, it has been a while. Get out, please. We'll, we'll, everyone out. Hmm. This could be problematic. That is a thing to worry about with, you know. But, you know, we want, we want to have... Yes, no, we want to lead them out like that. But we do want to hold the door open. They're going to destroy our living room, though, aren't they? Oh, it's only one hive. That's fine. Oh, never mind. Oh, I know it is only one hive, but it did spawn some spiders. Leave my boar alone, you bitch. Don't you dare kill my boar. Oh, this poor spider. It got in a fight with a dragon. And yet somehow, it's... The dragon's losing. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, just hunt. Search and destroy. No. In, in here, though? In here, though. Someone please tend to our boar. <laughs> A direct quote. Yes, yes. 
I, mean, I think it's valid. Trying to, they're trying to, trying to kill my boar. Bloody rude. Destroy. Actually, maybe I should finish it off. Got some insect jelly and a hive piece, which we can use to make our own jelly farm if we have that. Which yes, we do. We need two of them though. So unfortunately, this time I don't think we're going to manage. Oh shit! There's still a fucking boar in here. Or still a a thing. You get your axe back out. Okay, and actually, this is. I'm not doing this well. Where? Oh, there's the doctor. Got scared off by a bug. Okay, are we actually good now? I think we are. And this is more food, actually. Because since we're tunnelers. We don't really care about, um, finish off the bug. We don't, we don't really care about eating insect meat, which is, which is good. Bring him in, butcher. That's right. What's deteriorating? Oh. Hay is. You know what? That's fair. Uh, maybe get it out of there before it all goes away. Also, someone got food poisoning probably from eating raw insect jelly. That's not something you should be doing. It honestly sounds disgusting, but it's what they want to do. Oh, we do have two hive pieces. Never mind. We can do that. Hydro jelly. Hive grown from hive pieces, collected from piece of fun, will produce insect jelly in glow pods after a while. Hmm. Hmm, delicious bugs. Our colonists seem to think so. I think it, it probably has to be at least under a roof, maybe even in darkness, right? One, two, three. Two, three. Make just a little room. Actually, we can do better than that. We can line it up a little bit better. This is the insect room. Seven by seven. That should be fine, right? I will leave this little area here because we're probably gonna have to get out here and fill this in. Classic furniture, bit of classic door. You don't fit to it. Actually, I'm going to select similar, just for the bit them for now, so that way can, they can work on other projects. Oh, that's why he's moving so slowly. He's the one that got food poisoning. Production. I mean, I've never really used a jelly farm, but I'm going to build one there. I'm going to see what, ha what happens, see how it works. 
And at the very least, we can get jelly and glow paws to sell. I don't know what you can use glow pods for. But it's probably not bad. Insect jelly in 16 and then a glow pod in 18. Hmm. Can make primitive storage. There is a lot of storage here. The granary. Keeping them dry. Storage sent for storing things. Storage pots. Items will not deteriorate, but their food will still rot. Salted pot, which is good for meat. I'm actually going to make one of these and make it exclusively for pork. Because it can only take one type of meat, if I remember correctly. But... It helps meat stay for longer. Uh, anybody, somebody. Eating more insect jelly. Be very careful. Clear all and only... Over here. No more pork. No pork. How much can it fit? It can fit all of it. Except they're also going out to grab those to their inventory. There we are. So that should now be salted pork. Which it's not going... It's going to spoil in 30 days now. It's pretty good. You know, actually, we might not have to worry about the cold that much. It is the beginning of winter, and it's only 44 degrees outside. I was a little worried. We might be fine. If a cold snap happens, or a heat wave in summer, we're going to have to worry still, but... We might actually be able to build our thing. I went with a temperate map because this is the first time really getting into this mod properly. And I wanted a little bit of an easier time than the test games I did. But in the next, you know, all needs of this, we're definitely doing something a little more challenging. Snowy cannibals or out the desert. Tabaxi clan in the middle of the desert. Who knows? They're all just kind of doing their thing. She might eventually help. Can I rename her now or when no, when she's a uh, one of ours? Can I name rename her Ember Stalker? Or just Ember. Something a little easier than Shrogzolt. Not exactly easy to say, is it? It doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Detected a steel site. Oh, interesting. It also, it only needs seven. Does the nutrition actually go up? I think the nutrition actually goes up when it's salted. So it's actually more efficient. It only takes seven to make a jerked meat, as opposed to ten. Okay, okay, okay. That's helpful. Make them tabards. I think tabards don't quite work well with non-humans. Also, raid. Group of wraths. Are those war llamas? No, okay, they're just llamas. Spite revenant. That one's new. From the dark and deep woods comes the spite revenant. Merciless, fast, and deadly, they come to do their duty and uphold that which once was. Right. 
This should be fun. This should be fun. Everyone behind the palisade. Oddcom maybe can help out over here. He's not exactly the most armored individual. He's wearing a tunic. He's got a floppy hat. That's about all he's got going. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so they don't quite know what to do. So move back there, then. Give them a, give them a path to attack us from. They're going for reinforced walls. You know what? That works. Split them up. Split the enemy up. You can attack the walls all you want. It's not going to do much. Ah, there they are. Is that a gun? Yeah, it's a Jizal a Jizali short musket. Are they fucking dual wielding them? They're dual wielding the old muskets. I feel like that that shouldn't work. Actually, but. Oh, they're dodging arrows. Die. There we are. How you doing? Just cracks and bruises. The armor's doing its job. Those ones are still over there. They're still trying to work their way through the walls, huh? Okay, we're going to have to go... ...try and buckle them. We got two more. Two of these. Corpse Revenants. This is what happens when one of these things die. When they have a seed in their brain. Which I don't think either of them do. No. No, he does. Oh, shit. Okay. We're going to have to deal with that. Finished it off. Finish off Winsettus, but we're going to have to fight another one because. Yeah. Oh, you've had you've you've had some pretty heavy hits to the face, though. They're really going for the face. Finish off Grella. Finish off. We're going to have to deal with another one. Come on. You got it. You got it. He act I don't think he can actually see it. Never mind. They are kind of, but not... Oh, they're actually going to get through one layer. Okay, everyone. Out here. Out you go. A lot of blood and death. I do like the looks of that musket, though. I mean, they're not great, though. I will be honest. They're very... They're not amazing. They can be useful, but... As one would expect, very early firearms are not... The most effective. Where the hell are you going now? Stop going down for those walls, idiots. They're fleeing, are they? Wow, we actually hit it. Okay, we're good. Off we go. Uh, fix the wall. 
That went well. I want to keep that door open at all times then, because I don't like them going over trying to destroy these walls. Gorda has given birth. Oh, Glowpot. It oh, interesting. Oh, I see. They're, they're natural lights. Okay. Oh, someone named it Lester. Okay. Its name is Lester. A very unassuming name. Gets him a bond with someone... Oh yeah, Naswin. Naswin, everybody. Bond to Misbill, Bond to Lomber. These ones aren't quite grown. They're not quite grown enough, though. No, don't need them. Can you cook insect jelly? Is that... Yes, you can. Use it in the meals. Why do you need treatment? Oh, what the fuck? Did you get back up? You bitch. Okay, uh, hey. Please. They got back up. They picked up some, they picked up a sling off the ground and got back up. Yes, please run. They can go away. You know what? They earned it. They're not going to get very far anyway. They're bleeding out in three hours. Never mind, they just died. Let them let them die. Let them bleed out. An infection in their neck as well. Let them die. Something happening? Yeah, okay, I was going to say. The Hulking Assembly. Metallic stony more blocks. Completed within 10 days. We have 9 days left for this. Okay. So actually... Should probably have them do that sooner rather than later. And I'm, we're not going to take a shield belt because that's technology that shouldn't exist. Nothing we can do about that, though. It seems to be persistent. Might just take it for the goodwill. Because it's the tiefling. This is the, the, the tiefling uh, faction. I want to be friends with tieflings. I love tieflings. Uh, are you able- are you allowed to butcher insects? Is that something you can do here? Yes. So, Tommy, my friend, start butchering. Make room. I don't actually think these things give anything, though. No. Infection? Wilder has an infection in their liver. They got shot in the chest and abdomen with a musket. They now have an infection. Ooh. You should be careful, you're not a dwarf. You should be careful. Hmm. 
think I'm going to keep them bedridden for a bit. A little concerned about that. We finished dwarven toy making. We can just make like little trinkets, which we can sell. Which actually might be a good thing to do eventually. What is that? Oh, dragon scales, of course. We now have 91 insect meat. Actually, no, 418. Never mind, that's a lot more. I'd come. Oh, he's our geomancer. He's been an eclipse. Pretty. Earth and hammer. Make his geomancer even better. He's a geomancer. He can summon giant stones from beneath the ground and just throw them at people. It's pretty impressive. Ooh. Ooh. You're going to be close. Hmm. Hmm. I think part of the problem, too, is that it is in the liver, which... Yes, if we can get a good tent, this is going to be iffy. It's very close. I can... I can... Nope, 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 nope. Uh, you. You, you, you. Wilder. Yes, stay in bed. You are staying in bed. What's the... You... Okay, they're eating. Now please go back to bed. Fucking idiot. Okay. It can be tended in one less than an hour. Who is our best doctor? Naswin has nine. Mismo has eight. Naswin. First things first, actually. Let's get some light in here. Tobley. Nope. Bomber. Now, Naswin. Please tend to her. It's giving us the best chance of a good tent. Light, clean room. It's neck and neck. We need a good tent for this. 62%. That should do it. I think it has. I think it has. Yes, it is. She's, she's good. She's going to need another good tent in a bit, but... Yeah, she's got it. She's good. Minor crisis averted. Also, her blood filtration is going up as her liver naturally heals. Which is also pretty helpful. We don't really want to lose her. I mean, it's not she's not the best of the best, but she helps fill in a couple gaps in our other colonists. And she's a pretty good crafter as well, so... Yes, relations with the clan has gone down a bit. We not might not be allies forever. We're gonna probably have to send some gifts their way when we get a chance. Keep keep them being. Um.
Oh, hmm. Does insect jelly count as a fungus food, then? Ah. Ah. Um. Fungus. No, it would be this, wouldn't it? Yeah. No fungus, no mushroom. Don't cook it, because they want to eat it raw. Okay, yep. That's part of part of the ideology. Ideology. They want to eat the raw. She's free to walk, although she might die. 430 silver charity. I'd love to help you, but we really don't have the money. We have a little bit of money. I'd like to keep it on hand. We're probably going to need to buy. The Lauren has lost Michelle Delving to the Shire. Which one's Athel Lauren, first of all? Also strange that the Shire, the Hobbits, are being aggressive like that. Which one is Athel Lauren? I feel like I can almost remember who they are. Oh, the Dryads. You know, I don't care then. The Dryads, they don't like us. They're awful. Good, clear them out. Just because I want to, I'm going to tell him to roof this over. It'll look nicer. A nice roof. Available. Once we get done with this, we're going to build this one too. Because I want a little bit of goodwill. Just because. Probably gonna be, we're going to be cluttering our area. We can always build it down here. It's going to be so long until we actually make anything of that area yeah. probably just put it down there yeah it is a dirty cooking area this is true that's because our cleaner was very sick Boomlop salted. No, uh, storage, storage, storage. Because I think technically this almost acts like, yes, it acts like uh, refrigeration. We should probably have one for raw and one for salted then. Because by putting it, it becomes salted, and then it can be moved there, but it's, so it's not moved around. Yeah. Just get rid of that bed now. We will have to build a couple copies at some point, but... Why are you always so... Intense pain, that's... Oh, that's not helping. Intense pain? Oh, food poisoning, that would do it. No one likes food poisoning. You might not die, but you're going to feel like you will. He's in a daze. Oh, 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 oh. Ambrosia? I forgot this was on the map. You can harvest it, bring it in, get some people. A little bit of a mood buff. Oh. I see. They collapsed, and then they died and came back as a revenant, and led, walked their way away. It's kind of funny. Didn't I have somebody set to take that stuff out? Take beer out of it. It's Miss Mill. What else is Miss Mill doing on 2? What is Miss Mill doing then?
Miss Mill. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's look at that again. Just fucking crane my head all the way around. Smelt, do bills, unload, take beer out of fermenting barrels. It should be right there. You can find it. Take product out of fermenter. Remove finished product. Empty processor. Fill fermenting barrels. Fill fermenter. There. Will that help? Yes, it has. Very good. We lost a bit of wart from that because she didn't do her job, but that's the problem when there's a million and one different uh, mods. You know, it kind of messes with it. Go over here and just eat ambrosia right off the ground. Just shovel it in your mouth. Also, should probably haul that as well. But... Poor lad. Might help you mood a tiny bit. Yep. Ambrosia one with five. I mean, it didn't do a lot, but every little bit counts. Okay, we're going to accept this. We're going to accept for goodwill. There it is. You can barely even see it, but let's build it right in this little cubby. Soon. We gotta get a nice blade. Probably should give that, I guess, to Nazwin. He is. Everyone, insect jelly is going to be a bit of an issue. Maybe smooth, rich, nourish all creatures, never rots. Fills recreation of those who consume it. However, food restrictions. Select lavish. Don't eat it. Please and thank you. Now, Insect Jelly Preserves, on the other hand. We need, like, a condiment table or something for that, though, right? Ooh. See, that is a damn good sword. And we have a spare melee weapon for anyone who wants it. Uh, you know what? Uh, drop your club. Equip Steel Dwarf Sword as a sidearm. This is going to take a while. Certainly still 61%. Hmm. Wanderer joins Taz. A dwarf cook. I'm going to have a quick save just in case this breaks things. A dwarf cook named Taz wants to join the colony. Please don't be a betrayer. You are not a dwarf, and you are going to break the game. In which case... You're an interesting one. You're an interesting one. Uh, can I edit her? Uh, Taz. Change race to... Oh, wait. Yes. Human, I wish you to be... Uh... Oh, never mind. Uh, dwarf. Yes. No. Oh, I see. No, we need to be a dwarf. I think it was a dwarf cook. It's just calling us dwarf. 
that shouldn't break the game now. I guess we could crank the age up a little bit, since she's a dwarf. Very young for a dwarf, 38. And we're not going to change, I guess, change her look a little bit. Hmm. That messes with everything. Head. Uh, sometimes with the Wanderer joins, it doesn't always like to play nice with the other race mods. So, sometimes it... Yeah, so sometimes it really messes with, especially mood bars. I've had that happen. Don't know what that does. I've not really used this. Oh, nope, put your clothes on. Sure, you'll do. Honest Taz. Taz. He kind of. Yeah, you'll do. But we're really going to accept pretty much any dwarf that wishes a home. Hopefully, they're not going to all betray us. What is your apparel? Oh, we need a visage mask. Oh. Let's get her, let's let her get in. Do her thing. Um, but yeah, because I don't know if you saw, but it said she's a dwarf cook, but when we clicked on her, she was said she was a human. That is where the problem comes. Oh, we have to add in her special thing. Hold on. Uh health. How do I I do this? Racial bonus dwarf. Yes. I've not really used this one before. I don't know how to end. Bear with me, this is part of how it goes. I don't know, I don't really know how to use this, that was the thing. It's just okay. Uh, full body, I guess, right? Nope, that didn't quite work. Okay. It's troubleshooting, troubleshooting, that's how it goes. Guess severity of one. Okay, I see. I was okay. Yep. Okay. Cool. I got it. I got it. So Taz, Tazrin Roberts, or Taz, the dwarf cook. We need to start getting her on our side. She's a psychic vegan. She might not like our our place very much then. She's a very good cook, and we will put her cooking at very high. Also, I'll have her be... Is it four or five? Uh, five. But... On a three, will be that. And then, she'll also help with the alcohol. Just so it's not only Ms. Mill, because eventually there are going to be a lot of alcohol things.
So two, two, and then three. Can help with mining. Um, and then I guess help with low-level crafts. I'll do, yeah, like work on golem, apothecary, refinery, stone cutting. And at four, you can help all scavenge. Smith, tailor, clean, and then quarry at the bottom. There you go. We also need to assign her herbal... One, two, three, one, two, three. Do we really have... Hmm. So, I'll be paste that. Nazwin has gained a deeper understanding of magic. Heal efficiency, just going really heavy on the heal. Lumber. Work on the monument. Bees. Beekeeping. That'll be fun eventually. Monument is missing blueprints. Well, what do you need? Is that all, really? Okay, that is a very easy blueprint. Much easier than this one. Look at all the pigs. Food poisoning, this time from a dirty... We need to work. We need to work. We'll get there eventually. Tez, mm, maybe help just by cleaning it yourself. It doesn't help that everyone else was vomiting as well. Some ambrosia, got some beer, very nice. How far do you have to go? What are you even cutting? Are you cutting granite? Oh, you are. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we have we have gems over here, don't we? Tin amethyst. And other type of amethyst, as well as onyx and slate. Okay, well, after health issues and everything going, we've we're starting to get back to it. Once they build this monument, we can go back to building our hallways and trying to get things in order. Good mine deeper. Tungsten? Yeah. Let's just mine the lithium, the germanium, mine out this iron. Might as well mine all the ores out. I was going to say, if that was a raid, I probably just spoke too soon. Pristine ruins. I think this mod gets a little weird sometimes, but we might check it out at some point. Maybe the next time it pops up, because by the time we get around to doing it, it probably won't be a thing anymore. We have another baby quagga. Baby quagga. I mean, since we can just do it, I might as well just immediately before I forget. They just had a baby and they're going at it again. That was that was quick. Work fast. Hmm. Slowly, we might actually be able to make the, the native tribe like us a bit. 
just purely by endangered species programs. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need beer in there. I don't think beer... Oh, don't you start drinking. Animals with cirrhosis, as always. Aw, oh, poor thing. Look, it, it has a scar on its eye now from a mega scarab. In addition to it's already scarred. You know, it fits, though. It, it gives it a very impressive look, doesn't it? You, Taz, though, military-wise, are just awful. You're just bad. Plant work speed, but you're not working with plants. You should give her a gun. It's really not a good weapon, though. I mean, it's, it's alright. Not, not amazing. You know what? Might as well. And give her a... Uh, bearded axe. Bearded axe. Tribal axe. We don't really have a lot of weapons, do we? Fine, I guess a bronze bearded axe as a sidearm, but it, they're both very poor quality. That's the issue. Recovery. Okay, good. The nice thing about the dwarves is that I believe that they get over stuff like food poisoning very quickly because high blood filtration being a dwarf i also think that means that they go through alcohol quicker though which is a bit of an issue there you go make a roof help them out Hungry pen animals. Oh. Yes. We should. Storage. Hayloft, maybe. Make a hayloft. Is that the best way to do it? Uh, or food basket. I wanted something that's not going to, like, I wanted where to store. Manger? Task for animals. Or a deep manger. Let's just make a manger. Because I, I want to store the hay over there, but I also don't want them to... I don't want the hay to rot, or deteriorate, not rot. It's going to rot anyway, but deteriorate. Hay. And take hay away from you. Haul it in there for them to eat, please. They should go right to it. Unless it didn't. Hey. Hey. Haul the fucking hay. Mm. There you go. Wow, look at them swarm. They were hungry. Well, shit. Ooh, water cooling. I think that means we can make fountains. We're getting a lot of... A lot of... Like, nice research done, but we're really not able to do anything with it. 
you're kind of limited by partly by my, me choosing to build two giant monuments, which is not helping. We're also kind of trying to make okay, insect meat rot away. I don't really care. I was trying to like build a hall, which is going to take a while. Still a bug, I think, is that they can't use the styling bench. Never, never did fix that. It, it didn't quite work. Prison break. Um. There's not really anyone close, but at the same time... Maybe you should use your fists, though. She yeah. I guess try to restrain her first. See if that would work. Oh, I'm trying something. Um, oh, fucking hell. You cut her leg off. What is that about? Um, I mean, we can make replacement legs. She survives this. Okay, how long does she have? Six hours. Capture her, please. That... I don't know why he tried to restrain her and then he decided to just cut her leg off. I mean, I guess, technically, that... works, yes, but... Mm. Questionable, though. Alright, it's already almost time to wrap up. Wow. Probably start researching prosthetics, then. I mean, it's gonna be forever for her to convert, but... Still. Down here to the prosthetics, crude limbs, which are basic, ineffective. Artificial, which are more refined than all the way to mechanical. Now, ambrosian limbs are even better. They're inc incredible engineering craftsmanship. Elegant limbs that par on par with natural limbs. Expensive resource, expensive. Mechanical limbs, though, intricately crafted, pulleys and gears. I think like 80% efficiency. 85 maybe. We also have the ability to make dryad stuff, like animal limbs made of living wood. Which is quite fun. You should uh help yourself out there. Since he is bleeding. Now I we do need a visage mask as well. I'm gonna make it out of gold, iron, lead. Yeah, let's. That's not uh, hazardous at all. A lead mask on his face at all times. What could go wrong? Luckily, lead poisoning isn't actually a thing in this game. I'm sure there's a mod that adds it, but I don't have it. I'd be tempted though, but I don't have it. A war merchant from Greece, the Hellenic faction. Who is the social? Bomber is. 
Why are you so slow, friend? Thy Thybron of Bofagos. I'm oh, just a bad back. They have more dragons. They have two more rumble horns. I like how they're different colors. I wonder if it's based on how old they are. We'll trade with them. Maybe we can get rid of some of this random bits of metal we got too. We don't really need lithium or germanium, I think. Not really. Sell you the insect jelly, because we don't need it. Or want it. Germanium. Mostly in electrical components. I'm just going to sell it for some, some silver. Sell some lithium, too. I'll buy two fancy gems, because we could use it with something. Rough, and this is refined already. Sell you the random weapons that I don't want. Got that too. Elephant bow. As nice as that would be, I don't think we can. Well, we could afford it, but it's a wooden Galadrim elf bow, though. That's a good weapon. Also, dwarf horn bow. Yes. Uh, we can get away with buying uh yeah, buy this fancy gem too. And some pemmican. Except now Wilder can equip the Galadrim elf bow. You, wherever the horn bow is, can have the, the horn bow. Actually, uh, you can do that. And then we'll switch it out with Colin for the other, because that's an excellent, too. That's an excellent crossbow. Uh, that's pretty good. We got a decent little bit from them. I mean, I, as fun as the musket might be, we should probably have her have an actual effective weapon. Uh, was it Nazwen? No, it's Lomber. Lomber. You can wear your freaky mask. Wherever it went. Where is it? You fucker. Forswear. There, have your freaky mask. And then we'll just bring the musket back in. Because we can keep it. Well, mm, no, we'll keep it. And actually, they wouldn't even buy it, would they? I don't think they would. So that being said, we will just sell it. Just take the, take the, the bow. Or the musket, rather. I just don't want it. Yep, there you go. It's an awful quality, and it's nearly broken as well. It's at like 60%. Not really worth it. That's a nice upgrade, though. Specifically, Reclusive here, who I think we should primarily have with a ranged weapon, just for the most part. Has a Galadrim Elf Bow. Galadrim. Which, from, if I remember correctly, Pretty good weapon. It is a very good weapon. 
we've made some progress. Not as much as I would like, but... This is all going to be a quarry room, so I don't care really about mining deep into the walls. Ideally, it's going to keep, like, kind of want it like that. Keep a, a rough appearance to the room. Have a middle area with some platforms and then just quarries everywhere. Presuming that you can build that. That is right on the edge of the world. I hope we don't open up another area. If we do, that would be very unfortunate. Once this monument's done, go back to building these hallway things. Which, I can always queue up a few. Was this limestone? Yes. Just like that. Kind of padding out the walls. Kind of looks like a normal natural wall. And, yeah. Since this is all one big open area, we have to make it a mountain. And make our own dam. What all this iron? We're not going to need it for a while. It's... That's for sure. Good Utah. Help, help haul it all in. A lot of magicite too. We have 466 unrefined magicite now. What's another type of meat? Do we really? We don't really have any meat. Uh, wildlife. Let's have this clear all. Buffalo meat. Is we're going to go hunt some buffalo. But I think looking at the time, I think that will be right around where we end it. We've managed to do kind of a lot, actually. We've well, we've done a lot, but also nothing. It's amazing how little progress we've made and how much it, we've kind of done. Really, it's not a lot of progress, though, is it? That's how it is sometimes. Raids and monuments and infections. Slowing us all down. But, I hope that y'all have enjoyed. I hope that y'all have had a, a good time. It's definitely been a, it's been a, a good, good stream, I think. We made good progress in Billions and just fun with RimWorld. Look at this long ass caravan trying to get out of here. Euthydemos Themistocles Agesselos. I mean, it's been five hours, you know. That's a, it's a right around the maximum I usually stream for. Yeah, it probably also doesn't help that you're still an hour behind, I think. So it probably does seem a little earlier over there. Damn daylight savings. Messing everything up. Hmm. One last thing, I'm just going to go here and we're going to just salt a bunch of lentils, I think. Turn off that for all three. One last thing. There we are. Yeah. But I still hope that you've enjoyed. Good to have all y'all around. Everyone who's dropped by to watch, to chat. New people as well. 
It's been a good one. It's been a, uh, a busy, busy stream. There's been quite a few people here. So I'm always a fan of. Just checking one thing. Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad you had fun. Even if you probably don't really know what's going on in Rimworld. One day you'll learn. Maybe. Yeah, no idea. Just glad to be here. Just vibing. Which sometimes is all all it takes. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying the uh, mod pack we have, even if it is a bit a bit janky at times. You know, a, a large Rimworld mod pack will do that. It's a bit a bit odd, some of the things that it does. But overall, I've been enjoying it, and I hope that you have too. I should be back tomorrow, probably, because I don't believe, unless any, I get, you know, word back at the last minute, I don't believe that I have any real plans this weekend. So I probably be back tomorrow for a bit of Hades. Which is always fun. That we've been doing pretty well in too. Hopefully we can keep the streak going. Already saved. Yes. Back to the main menu. You yeah, see? Middle Earth. Blows my mind. Didn't even recognize it. But yeah, so, I hope that y'all have a good rest of your day, rest of your night, wherever you are. And, see y'all next time. Bye 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 Let's get the damn thing over there first, that probably helped. Work with me here. I'm trying to end it. Come on. Alright, there we are. Yep, I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.